In material science, light-matter interaction is a growing field of research. Advances in nanofabrication allow for special phenomena such as LSPR to be more accessible. Simple models are what we build up on to characterize their optical behavior. In this work, we examine LSPR of a gold nanoparticle in media using modified RUDA models. I am Tim Jeff Rodriguez of SAND, advised by Dr. Billy Gonzalo. RUDA's model is one of the first to describe electron behavior in metals. The system is a pinball model with elastic collisions of electrons on relatively immobile ions driven by an applied field. An important result for characterizing optical behavior is the permittivity, which is important for LSPR. LSPR occurs when conduction electrons from a nanoparticle are excited, forming a localized plasma cloud having an enhanced electric field and increased extinction cross-section. This plasma excitation is of interest due to extensive applications. In modifying the Druda model, damping factors that arise from the limited size of the NP should be accounted. One is from electron-electron collisions. Another is from electron-phonon interactions. We also need to consider radiative scattering from accelerating electrons. And finally, electron collisions with the NP surface. We also need to consider a linear restoring force at this nanoscale, where now our modified Druda permittivity is given by this equation. We also look at the nonlinear case where we consider higher order terms in the Druda model. From this, we arrive at the duffing permittivity, which is an extension of the permittivity for individual nanoparticles for the nonlinear third order case. Now we can plot the permittivity for individual gold nanoparticles, wherein we have a negative real part and a positive imaginary part. This shows us that it can support LSPR in the visible spectrum. We conclude that nonlinearity has minimal effects to semi-classical phenomenon and there is significance in the Druda model even in today's science. Thank you.